In this video, let's talk about can you make money from penny stocks? Is it worth buying penny stocks? Should you even focus on penny stocks or just go for other stocks that are worth looking into that have substance, have better valuations, and have a growth story? So if you want to know more about that, you want to know more about my thoughts on penny stocks, check this video out. Hi everyone, this is Marvin Germo. If you're new to this channel, super appreciate it if you could subscribe, smash the bell, like, comment, and be part of this growing number of Filipinos interested on investing, interested on making their money work hard for them. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe, like, hit the bell, and be part of this journey and stay till the end of the video. Hey guys, so I'm still here answering the questions that you have sent out. As you all know, I read the comment section. Just so put your comments below and I'll try to make videos off of that. I'll try to find the ones that give the most value to people. The ones that, hmm, when, when it's asked and if I create a video off of it, there's a lot of people that may need that information as well. So again, here's the question. I'm going to put the graphic here. But this is something sent by Ken Villanueva. He was actually watching the video that I created about uh, stock brokerage. So that was a video more than, I think, eight months ago already. I hope that for those who have not seen this yet, see, seen that video yet, and you want to open an account in the market, you really need a stock broker. You need an online account for you to be able to trade the markets. Anyways, this is his question. Sir Marvin, what can you say about penny stocks? Still trying to learn everything about stocks. I really like your contents. It's very, very helpful. So first of all, thank you so much. I honor people that uh, take the time to also learn. I, I honor people who take the time to not just entertain themselves, but take the time to educate themselves. Because at the end of the day, that's what will take you to the next level. That's what will push you higher it's not about how you how you make yourself feel good on a daily basis but it's also about what you feed here it's not just about entertainment it's about education so to put proper context into everything a lot of people use the term penny stocks for stocks that are below one one well, one dollar one peso hence the term penny the relatively cents uh, they're relatively either cents if you're trading US markets, they're relatively centavos if you are trading uh, Philippine markets. And the context to that also is if you've been noticing the videos that I've been creating, and I also created so many videos about this already, by the way, but I never mentioned the word, I would never use the term penny. I would also never use the term blue chip because in my opinion, these stocks are very, very, this these terms are very, very generic. It's very, very uh, broad but it does not really give you the whole picture. And I assume the reason why you're asking this is you want to uh, you want to trade the market, not really invest. So, But let me segment this from an investing perspective and a trading perspective. If you are an investor, it does not matter if the stock is below one peso, but if the fundamentals of the company are amazing, then you go for it. It does not matter if the stock is very, very low, it doesn't look as attractive from a price perspective it looks so cheap but if the fundamentals is amazing you buy it even though a lot of people don't want to buy it they label it a penny stock but the fundamentals are amazing the growth the earnings the EPS its liquidity its debt is amazing it's uh, they're, it's they're not too leveraged as well and they know what to do with it. if they're efficient and how they grow their earnings then you go for it and then if the valuations are telling it's cheap then you go for it please remember this if you study valuations it does not mean that the stock is low it means it's actually cheap there are stocks that are low but are still expensive and that's where you need to study more that's where you need to study further but uh two things if the stock is a penny stock but the fundamentals are not there by all means avoid do not buy it uh but if the stock is a penny stock but the fundamentals are amazing. By all means, you buy it no matter what the crowd is telling you. That's why I've been harping at it that you need to study, you need to learn, you need to spend a lot of time and attention knowing what you're getting into. You need to spend a lot of time and attention knowing the stocks that you're also buying as well. Because at the end of the day, for you to be successful at this, 
this has to it has to come to a point that it becomes a skill set it has to come to a point that you know what you're getting into that you are buying the stocks not because everyone's saying it but because of your conviction now if you're trading naman uh the whole context of this is this you have it has it doesn't have to be based on the labels it has to be based on what the charts are telling you that's why i keep saying this everything you need to know if you want to trade is founded on the concept of technical analysis everything you need to know is founded on the concept of what charting is telling us as well so that being said it has to be two things if there are if it's a penny stock and there are buy signals from the charts from the technicals by all means you buy them if it's a penny stock and there are no buy signals from the charts you avoid them the same is true if you are watching what people call a blue chip company comment below and say blue chip company why if it's a blue chip company and there's no buy signal regardless if it's gd capital regardless if it's companies that have that are above 1000 pesos pldt globe uh, sm at some point ayala at some point uh if it's even if they're above a thousand if they're above 500 you don't go for them just because they're called blue chip you go for them if you're trading if the charts are telling you if the charts are telling you not to buy it even if it's blue chip you avoid but if the charts are telling you to buy it even if they are a penny stock or they are a blue chip company then you buy them let me give you some examples this is uh i want to show you some what people call penny stocks let's look at uh win or wellex industries in the pse so if you notice it the problem lang, by the way with some penny stocks in the philippines is uh volume is not there so that's where it becomes tricky from a technical analysis point of view why am i saying this Be because volume is not there when you start using technical analysis and for those who attended our stock smart sessions you know what i mean by this volume is predominantly one of the most important things aside from price action that will help you uh, determine if the trade is worth getting into or not and the problem with some penny stocks the problem with some stocks that are very very small is they don't have liquidity so yun lang yung para in my opinion one thing that drags it it's not like in the u.s markets for those who trade u.s markets also you know that now the advantage of u.s markets it doesn't it, it's not just that they have volatility they also have volume and volume is what predicates a lot of the movements that we're actually seeing as well so i hope this is something that you're getting but uh this one as you can see is a win volume is not really there but uh just just so we can analyze one thing that you can look at is you can still draw your resistance here. One thing you can analyze is you can still draw your support here. If I will try to peg this, see see the lack of liquidity here. I think that's the biggest problem lang with it. But if you want to trade it, you could still put your own support and resistances here. You could still use that as your uh, platforms for you to be able to trade, especially if you want to trade shorter durations. So that's what I want to harp on here that if you want to use technicals, you can, but the risk lang is there will be days, especially if it's not so liquid, you won't be able to put in a lot, you won't be able to get out quickly, and there might be days that you will see wild swings uh, on a regular basis. Let me try to uh, look at some. Uh, let's look at Manila Bulletin, MB, same thing, it's below 100. Uh, if you notice it, you can build a support here. You can build a resistance here uh, for you to trade. One thing that you need to figure out though is this uh, is this channel something worth trading for you. So it's around 14-15% if you want to trade it. But again, ganun lang. Uh, it's not as liquid. There's not much trading volume. So there might be a lot of false signals. But the name of the game is you can still use the charts to be able to map out where the support and where the resistance is for the stock as well another example comment below if you want another example comment 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 now comment now comment now. i want more <laughs> anyways huh, let's look at yuna no not you no let's look at tuna oh sorry yeah food sorry uh, when i started out uh, i think that the, the the name of alliance select foods international was tuna and then they just changed it to food if i remember it properly but anyways uh food or alliance select foods international their primary uh their primary export is tuna that's why i think tuna was sa isip ko. but anyways look at this there's a large spike of volume here you can put the resistance here and you can put the support here 
So that's how it would go basically. You can put a buy signal at the 0.495 level and you could put your target price here at the 0.59 level. So this will give you around 19%. But again, I, I'll keep harping on this and I'll keep saying this. It's all about what the volume is telling you. It's all about if the volume is there. It's all about uh, if the volume is consistent, it will prevent you from having a lot of false signals. That's a problem if volume is not existing for penny stock. So my, my whole conviction in all of this is as long as you know how to read your charts well, as long as you know that the price and the volume is pretty much there, you can buy penny stocks based on technicals. If you are an investor, you can buy penny stocks also based on the fundamentals. If you know deep inside that the fundamentals of the company is there as well. So just to give you an example also, and just to reiterate this, I want to show you a company that's not considered a penny stock, a company that's considered a blue chip company. So if you see this, GT Capital is breaking down no matter how good the company is. GT Capital is one of the biggest, largest companies. But the goal of trading is once it starts to break down, even MACD is not showing you any buy signals. Once it's starting to break down, your goal is to uh, avoid it first and wait for a bounce to come in. So that's what I'm saying. To recap everything, penny stocks and fundamentals are good and you are an investor and it's dictating a buy signal you buy. If it's a penny, do not just buy a penny stock just for the sake of buying penny stocks because you're thinking that if I buy a pen, if I buy something at 40 centavos, pag nag 10 pesos yan, yayaman ako. Guess what? If the fundamentals are not there, regardless of how low it is, there's a possibility it won't even go to 10 pesos. There's a possibility it won't, it won't even go to 1 peso. That's why fundamentals are so important. That's why if it's 0.20 centavos, no matter how cheap it looks, stay away from it if the fundamentals are not there. Same for trading. If it's 0.40, you have a bounce, you have a buy signal, you come into it. But you also need to plot where your resistance is because you need to get out. And the only reason you're buying it is not because it's a penny stock. It's because technical analysis is showing you that there's a signal for you to buy the stock as well. So I hope you guys got a lot from this. I hope this is something that helped you. I hope this is something that answered your question as well. Uh, just a quick invite for those who stayed up until this portion. I have some seminars around the world. The next one will be a few days from now. It will be in Taiwan. Then followed by our seminar in Manila this March. Then in London this April. Then this May in Singapore and Doha, Qatar. Then June, Auckland, New Zealand. July, Sydney, Australia. Dubai, we're doing this on November along with Tokyo, Japan. And for those who want to learn more from our online seminars, I have a session with Chikitan in Tagalog. Then I have another session uh, with Sean C talking about business and investing. It's called Make Money, Grow Money. The details are on the links in the description below. And for those who want to order my books, they're all in Shopee. Uh, there's, a, there's a group package also for those who want to get all five books as well. So I guess that's it for now. If you have any more questions, please just put them on the comment section and I'll try to make videos off of that. And I'm going to do my best because uh, that's what I want. For those who are new, the reason why I keep doing videos like this is I want to just educate Filipinos. I want to change the narrative. I want to change the framework that Filipinos really deserve better. We have one life to live. I hope that you make it count, that you do something that will allow you to change the status of your finances, not just for you, but for the people around you, not just for you, but for your family, not just for you, but for uh, for the millions of people that you can bless, that you can touch because you become more prosperous. And it's time that we see more prosperous Filipinos. It's time that we stop, uh, it's time that we stop the concept that Filipinos are poor. The Filipino is not poor. The Filipino is rich. And being rich starts in how you perceive and how you believe yourself that you can actually do it in spite of what everyone else is telling you. So, super appreciated. If you can subscribe, you can smash the bell. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys. And God bless you all.